Let's review the basics behind drawing a pedigree. First, let's start with some shapes. Squares are males, circles are females, and diamonds indicate individuals where the gender is not known. Triangles are for miscarriages, and a triangle with a strike through indicates an interruption of pregnancy. Individuals encased in brackets have been adopted out of the family. And when two people are connected by this type of line, that indicates a twin pregnancy. Let's review the pedigree from our case. Let's start first with our proband. We know that this person is the proband because they have the arrow pointing towards them. This is a male, and when we inquire to the family, we find out that he has two older siblings, an older sister and an older brother. Wherever possible, siblings should be listed in order of birth. The convention is for the father's side of the family to be on the left, and therefore the father is drawn on the left with the mother on the right. When we review the mother's side of the family, we find that she has one sister. That sister is currently pregnant, and the gender of the baby is not known. She also had a twin pregnancy and has two twin boys that are identical, and that's what this line indicates. The mother's parents are no longer in a relationship together, and since then, the mother's father has passed away represented by the strike through of this box. When we look at the father's side of the family, we find that he had one brother who passed away as an infant. In addition to this, the father's parents are related to our proband's mother's parents, making that union consanguineous. That is represented by a double line. In addition to this, the father's parents are also consanguineous as they are related to one another through a common ancestor. This makes the infant death somewhat suspicious for a metabolic disease. That is because they are mostly autosomal recessive and we know when individuals share a common ancestor, the chance of them having the same genes that don't work is higher. When we review the rest of the father's side of the family, we find that the proband has one great uncle who had a daughter who was adopted out. Typically, we collect information from three generations, and that's what's been done in this circumstance. We have a fourth generation here to indicate how the individuals are related to one another in the case of consanguinity. It's also important to collect information regarding multiple congenital anomalies and recurrent miscarriages or spontaneous abortions. It's also important to collect demographic information in terms of ethnicity, as some diseases are more common within certain ethnic groups.